Hi, hookers! It's awesome work again. I'm always so impressed. You keep making my job harder and harder, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, I want to get right into this. Michael Sean, I love your lyrics. Very poetic. Um, keep my heart tethered and keep my wings feathered. And you had some other ideas with plays on those words. Um, it was hard to get them to sing with the do 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 um, that I'm trying to keep that melody going for the second line. And that was the problem with some of the others that people submitted. It's, um, I want to say now, you got to think about where the weight of the word is going. So it's do, 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 do. There's kind of two in that. Um, but especially that second syllable should be the weighty word. And some of the lyrics submitted were kind of not even um, like the, anyways, it'd be emphasizing, emphasizing the other syllable <laughs> that you shouldn't or things like that so um try to think of that when you're when you're singing through this um song girl too many to measure and won't let me forget her love those love a lot of what you are submitting um i'm still wanting to keep away from she him her he all of that stuff so i thought i wouldn't go with that um catherine I love what you submitted ricochet off these walls. That was one, ricochet is such a great word, but it, in the right place where it sings well, it'd be great, but it didn't, I didn't feel like I could do like a triplet in the beginning of that phrase and make it work or do something cool with it. So I didn't use it. Um, and then I, I want to say about your other lyric that I pulled about out, that used to matter. Um, and I saw some comments after that, and I love the idea that we're going to have this person get over it, move on, be their own person, but I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> and I've gotten a lot of those lyrics or people chiming in like, oh, we got to get them over her or him or get this, get this done. But if you read through the lyrics, we're really not there yet. I think because of the way we're writing, it feels like we should be because we, we're really pouring and getting real clear every step of the way, but um, I wrote some stuff about this, I want to see. Yeah, if you just read back over the lyrics, um, you'll see that we're kind of only at that arch, and we want to get to that arch with these next lines at the end of the chorus. We want to send this home. So um, we still want the angst and the regret and the, I was going to curse, but I won't curse because I love you guys, and maybe there's people who don't like it. So we just want that, like, that stuff. And then I think we can get there, maybe not in the next verse, we'll have more like contemplative things I think would be good, but then in the bridge we should have that change of, all right, we're moving on. So I've kept this chorus something that I think can still apply once we've had them move on, because we're going to repeat this chorus at the end of the whole song. Um, back to the kudos. Um, I want to send out kudos to Pamby One. A lot of what you sent in, I tried to work it in and see if it would work, um, and it did, but I didn't choose it. And Jerry, a lot of what you submitted was great. Um, Dan Herman, loved your furniture, your threadbare sweater lyric. So, um, a lot of great stuff, you guys. I'm not going to read it all. I always make long videos. I love you, and I want you to go keep writing. So. Our next lyric is something that Dan Herman submitted. Thank you, Dan. Um, this is something that you resubmitted, and I really appreciate that. Um, it's for worse or for better. And I love the play on words, but it's something... I like a lot of things that are familiar, but slightly different. And we've got some of those in the song. We have some cliches in the song, but um, something that sings well usually is something that you would speak and not super poetic. There's space for the real poetic stuff, like the, um, we have a lot of real poetic stuff in this paper cutting bone, Echoes of Memories, there's some real poetic stuff, but, um, you want to balance it all, always. And so it's a juggle, but, um, that's our next line. Congrats, Dan. And, um, I just want you guys, for this next part, I'll play just this second half of the chorus, I think. And, we can take this in different ways. I can take it from the E major to the E minor, back to the B at the end there, so there would be like a longer end of the chorus, or we cannot do that. So I'm gonna play both versions and we can submit lyrics. We're gonna to do tomorrow, we're gonna finish this chorus and it has to end with unopened letter, I think, unless somebody submits something that's like 
over the rainbow, through the woods, and to a pot of gold, and awesome, it's gonna end with unopened letter. Because we're there. We've got all this leading up to it. So, um, and you want to get, um, if you can, it's not totally necessary, but if you can rhyme with the E idea, it can be a perfect memories and tag it with ease. Um, I even had an idea earlier of something, uh, honesty. I mean, there's so many great rhymes with that E. You shouldn't have any trouble, but, um, here this is. Echoes of memory. Worse off for better. Do 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 unopened letter. Or it can be echoes of memories for worse off for better. Um, I can move the melody around to make things work. So just submit what you think cinches us, breaks our heart for this character. Um, cause we're still in that heartbreaker part. And we've got, um, this for worse or for better is a little play obviously on, on being married to someone. But I think our song really still applies to so many different things and scenarios and you can read it over and see I wrote some notes here read it over with the idea the character was burned by who they sent it to and it is a breakup song or um or read it with the idea that it's like a military wife who could only write letters to her husband and now received one back not in the way if she wanted to receive it back um or someone who went away to focus on themselves now lost a past love but the person now wants to reconnect with the past love but that person has moved on or a mother, father, daughter, son relationship writing to another person in their family that they were, you know, cut ties with and they're back with. But anyways, um, this is the longest video ever, <laughs> but it's very crucial that we're on it right now. And, um, I'm even going to talk in a crazy voice. Come on, you guys, we can do this awesome work up until this point. This is our hook of all hooks moment. So, spirit lyricalness and i'll see you guys tomorrow we're gonna do this keep writing thanks